Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex. Today I'm going to show you how to move your WhatsApp chat history from an iPhone 15, 15 Plus, 15 Pro or 15 Pro Max to a Samsung Galaxy S22. Please watch this video from the beginning until the end so you don't miss any of the tips that I'm going to give you. So yeah guys, a lot of people that bought the iPhone 15 and they don't like the iPhone so they want to move to Android right away. In this video I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S22 but you can do this with any Android device with Android 12 and up. A lot of people want to move from the iPhone 15 to the new Pixel 8 and 8 Pro. Alright guys, so the first step is to update your operating system. On the iPhone, go to Settings, General, check Software Update. We can see that we have the latest iOS which is 17.0.3. Now on the Samsung, you're gonna go to Settings and check Software Update. Click Download and Install and you can see that I have one UI version 5.1 security patch October 1st and also if you check on about the phone software information you will see that I have Android 13. Then you're gonna update WhatsApp also. You have to open the Apple Store, search for WhatsApp, click here, refresh the app like this. If you see open, that means that you have the latest version. If you see update, means that you have to update, right? Then I'm gonna show you all that we're gonna transfer. Whenever you see all these chats here on the Samsung Galaxy S22, that means that your transfer is successful. I have a lot of chats here, but if you click on this one, you will see that I have a lot of pictures and videos, contacts. I have all kind of file types, PDFs, Excel docs, zip files. I have emojis, memojis, stickers, audio files, voice messages, all kind of stuff guys. So once we see this on the Samsung, that means that the transfer was successful. All right. So now that I have everything updated, what is the next step? We're going to do a brand new backup. Go to settings, chats, and click on chat backup. Make sure to include videos. Okay, this is important. End-to-end -end encrypted backup have to be off. And then just do a backup. Make sure that the backup is finished. And then we can start, guys. On the Samsung, you don't need to factory reset it. Make sure that you have an account on the Google Play Store. So this is my account. And that's it, guys. In order to move all the stuff from the iPhone to the Samsung, we're going to use an app. This app only works on Samsung devices. That app, it's called Smart Switch. It's right here, Smart Switch. And it's going to say, transfer your data. We are receiving data from the iPhone. So click Receive Data and then select iPhone. And now it's asking us to connect both devices. Remember that now with the iPhone 15, we have the USB-C connector. So you need a cable USB-C to USB-C. Cable comes with the iPhone 15, but if for some reason you don't have it, I'm gonna put a link on the description so you can buy it from Amazon at $10, all right? So let's connect uh, the iPhone first, and then we're gonna connect the Samsung. Let's see what happened. If you don't see this trust this computer, it's not gonna work. This is a must trust this computer trust check your iphone next connecting searching for data to transfer so i'm gonna deselect everything and i'm just gonna select calls messages apps and that's it if you need videos and audio you can select them but i don't need them i'm gonna click transfer you see what's up i don't need music i don't need calculator or calendar i don't need all this stuff you know i want to concentrate on what's up so i'm gonna install this is what we want to see. Transfer WhatsApp chats. Scan the QR code with your iPhone to open WhatsApp, then tap start. If for some reason you don't have access to the camera app on the iPhone, you can still do this by going to settings, chats, move chats to Android, okay? So either or. I do have the camera, so I want to scan this QR code. I put it on top and it's gonna give me opening WhatsApp link. Click there. So this is what we want to see. Move chats to Android. Transfer your chat history and media to your new Android device. You will not be able to transfer later if you skip these steps. Just click start. And now it's transferring, guys. Depending on how much data you have, this is going to take a while. That's why I recommend you to have both devices charged 100%. Anytime you connect an iPhone to an Android device, the iPhone is going to charge from the Android device. I have less than 100 megabytes of data. I guess you're going to have gigs of data. You have to be patient. This might take hours, guys. Also, a lot of people are going to ask me, can I do this without a cable? The answer is yes. I never done it, but yes. On my next video, probably I'm going to try how to do this 
without a cable. Also, this transfer is from an iPhone to a Samsung Galaxy S22. Because it's a Samsung device, I'm using the Smart Switch app. If you don't have a Samsung device, you're going to have to use Google's own copy data app. And you can only reach that app when you factory reset your Android device. So that's the main difference between Smart Switch and the native Android app. Wow, 97.9%. And it says, organizing your transfer data. We'll let you know when that's finished. You can check the status in notifications. You can now disconnect the USB cable. So you're going to disconnect it. Okay. And we're going to check what we got transferred. Calls and contact 67 and apps. We have WhatsApp Messenger. Open WhatsApp Messenger. English. Next. Welcome to WhatsApp. Agree and continue. Going to put allowed. And here you're going to put a phone number. If you have your WhatsApp open, you might get a code on the WhatsApp and you don't need to use your phone number. So let's try that. I'm going to cancel this. I'm signing on WhatsApp on my iPhone and I'm going to verify my account. 954-740-2219. If I'm not logging to my WhatsApp on the iPhone, I will get a text message to that number. But since I have my WhatsApp login in, chances are I'm going to get a code here. Click next. It says connecting. This is the phone number. Requesting code. And this is it. You see, I told you guys. Enter this verification code on your new iPhone. Okay, so 110366. And that's it. Verification complete. I'm going to click continue. Allowed. Allowed allowed and this is what we want to see guys importing chat history we need permissions to restore your chats start importing chat history import complete next i'm gonna put my name here i'm gonna put daily i'm gonna choose this account end to end encrypted backup off and that's it done Everything that I used to have on the iPhone, now I have it here. And again, this is the chat that we need to check. As you can see, we have all the pictures and videos. We have the contacts. We have all kind of file types, PDF, Excel, Word documents. We have the emojis, memojis, stickers. We have the voice messages. Everything got transferred to the Samsung device, guys. So this was 100% a success. Of course, on the iPhone, now the WhatsApp is logged out. But if for some reason you want to go back to the iPhone, you just need to verify it again and that's it all right guys so i wanted to show you this how to transfer your whatsapp chat data from an iphone 15 15 plus 15 pro or 15 pro max to a samsung device in this case i have a samsung s22 with android 13 thank you so much for watching this video guys i hope you like it if you want to support my channel please don't forget to subscribe to my channel that's the best way you can support my channel so i can continue doing videos for you have a great day and i'll see you on my next video bye